Hey guys, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Money getter. Hey guys, it's D at D's village. If you're stopping by for the first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. My channel is predominantly about reconnecting with Africa and specifically at the moment I'm in the Gambia. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and doing all those YouTubey things. So this is just a real short one. I want to say, um, this is a young person's word, bougie, bougie. What does it mean? How the young people um, use it, my understanding of how they use it, it is um, don't have a particular type of behavior or don't think that you're better than somebody else that's my understanding of how the young people use it so you know many people keep talking about Africa is poor Africa's in poverty Africans don't have and so on and so forth so I'm not going to speak to the whole 55 um, states in in the African continent I'm only going to speak to the one that I'm currently in, which is Gambia. Now, I am going to concur. There is a certain level of what might be determined poverty. But what is poverty? Poverty is relative, isn't it? And um, it will depend on which definition of poverty you're using. But I kind of want to turn it upside down on its head and say that, you know, oh, nice ant. Um, maybe it's us in the west that are in poverty because most people in Africa in the Gambia let's stick to the Gambia have land even if it's not their own land it's family land so they can build upon that land or have a family compound so once the land is brought or is inherited or passed down in generations then the land belongs to them we in the west we can't most of us cannot afford land number one we cannot afford to build ourselves number two number three we will have a a mortgage which is a long loan back in the day it was 20 years then it increased to 25 years now mortgages are at 30 35 and 40 years and again if you look up the word mortgage that's another thing in terms of what it means. But the essence of that is that you are going to loan money from generally a bank or a building society to purchase a property. You're going to pay that money monthly for anywhere between 20 to 40 years of your life. Most people in the Gambia, as I've said, have their land and they will build upon their land. So they are debt free in that sense if they buy a car most people will purchase a car outright i'm not saying people in the west don't purchase cars outright but a lot of people have them on that higher purchase thing again where you pay each month now there's nothing wrong with that people choose to do what their budget will allow or what they will um how their finances determine i'm not here to discuss people's finances that's got nothing to do with me but i'm just constantly hearing people I'm being attacked by red ants so that's why I'm looking down I constantly hear people constantly let me start again I hear people always talking about people in Gambia are poor Africans are poor you know what are we measuring poorness against which yardstick are we measuring it against because if we're measuring it against in terms of ownership in terms of assets in terms of what really belongs to somebody and how quickly it belongs to somebody most of us in the west we're the ones that are poor from that from that perspective all these ants are too much um um we're we're the ones that are poor and also you know in africa you have to pay six months to 12 months rent ahead of the game when you're renting somewhere and often with a deposit so 
you know, in the West, in the UK, because that's where I'm from, how many of us can afford to pay our rent in advance for a year, six months to a year? Oh, please, Anne, give me a break. How many of us can afford to pay our rent that far ahead in advance? And also, let us also remember, for those of us in the West that hit hard times, um, and, you know, along, especially now with this C99 situation, many people are out of work. There is a there is a benefit system. The money that they give you from that benefits is ne is little, but you can you know you can get by on it for a short period of time. In Africa, there's no benefit system, or certainly not in the Gambia. Your benefit system is your family that will support you if they're able to do that. So you know, let's think about when we say these things Gambia let's stick to Gambia is poor let's qualify what we mean by poor because poverty is a state of mind and you know we in the west we have too many trappings we have too many things we are um, covered in debt we have just too many trappings and you know you might say well what's too many I'm not going to give up X, Y, Z, A, B and C. That's absolutely fine. No one's asking you to give up those things. But just to be mindful when you come to places like the Gambia and you see people's living conditions are not the same as yours. And then people only maybe eat a particular type of diet. You have to think about the accessibility of food, um, where it's grown, how, how it's grown. Think about the rainy season and all those other things. Because a lot of the things in, in the UK are imported from all over the place. Um, and yes, stuff is grown in the UK. But how many of us grow things in our back garden? How many of us have got allotments, as we call them? Or they call them vegetable gardens here. Or communal gardens. How many of us have got those? How many of you grow tomatoes, peppers, and so on and so forth? How many of you have got the time to grow them? Oh, in there so you know poverty is relative it really absolutely is relative so let's think about what we're saying and let's not be bougie as the young people say let's not think that we are better than somebody else because we come from the west we come from a different system we come from a different set of lifestyles let's look at what has afforded afforded us those lifestyles that you graft which is work very very hard for long hours for people to take liberties with you those people in Gambia own their own house own their own land own their own cars in the west that is not the case as I've already just explained and also there's a benefit system to assist you people say oh well yes um, I'm entitled to those benefits I've paid into the system no not always many people who are having benefits have not paid into anything they've never worked a day in their life and sometimes a quarter of your salary will go to the government and they will use it for you know ca um, council amenities um, and schooling and all these other things that they claim that they use it for whatever it is that they use it for but a quarter of your salary will go towards those things so remember in Gambia they don't have that so don't come here giving it all that blah 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 um, DMO DMO which is talking talking don't come here giving it all of that when you really sit back and analyze the situation that people are living in the West there's poverty in the West just the same so think about what you're saying before you say it everywhere has its struggles the grass isn't greener on this side neither on that side it's about which struggle you choose to pick in inverted commas so don't be bougie don't be all up in your feelings thinking I'm better I'm living a better life a better this and a better that you aren't always abundant sunshine peace of mind liberty at your own leisure think about these things so that's all I got for you. It's been D at D's village. Peace out, Kara. I'm a guy till one next time.